All right, this is a quick video about the utility of the small three foot uh, loop that we carry in Uncivilized Vitality. You should always have one or two in your pockets. And there's a lot of cool things you can do with these loops. You can, uh, for instance, I could tuck this under my belt, right? Run that through so I've made a little cow hitch on my belt. And now I've got this loop that hangs and I can do lots of things with that. I could, I could hang my water bottle from a carabiner and clip it onto that. It's a little low banger on my knees, but you can shorten that loop up a little bit. If that's too long and is hanging, I can take the loop, double that loop over. Okay. Now run that smaller doubled up loop under my belt. Okay. Make a little hitch there, a little cow hitch. Now I've got, I can carabiner in and clip my bottle like that so it hangs a little little lower. I can use, let's see, here's a piece of stick. Since we're in the park, maybe I don't have a carabiner. I can make a little toggle by popping my loop through my carabiner and just hooking it on that log. Now I've got my canteen, a way to hold that hands free and walk around. All right. I can use my loop to tie my bedroll together. Maybe I can reach around a blanket this way and I can cinch that down. My loop's too short. I can grab a second loop. Okay. Reef knot those together. Run around. Run that through. Cinch that down. And now I've got my bedroll there. I could probably take this up under my belt this loop, draw that all the way up and pass my blanket back through that loop and now I've got a way to carry my, my blanket hands free on my belt with that loop. If I had a, another loop maybe I could even, where'd that stick go? I could push a piece of that loop through my water bottle, clip that, push that toggle back through there. Now I've got a place to carry my canteen. Maybe that's not secure enough. Once again, carabiner, just clip into that pile of rope on my blanket. And now I've secured things to my belt with my little pocket loop. Right. Let's see what other uses for the pocket loop that you can come up with. Oh, I think I got caught in my shirt. What other uses for the little pocket loop can you come up with besides hanging things from your belt um, for your keys? You can make, although I don't necessarily like to do this in a pinch, maybe I ran out of pockets. I don't know what that means, ran out of pockets. Maybe in your bathing suit or you, gotta, you fell in the river and all your clothes are by the fire dry and you're walking around naked in the forest but you can't go anywhere without your knife, okay? You can have no clothes, but you're not truly naked until you don't have your knife. So I can just throw that loop through my neck. Now I've got my knife hanging around from my neck, right? So you can use that loop with a simple girth hitch, okay, or a cow hitch to hang lots of things. Let's look at that knot that I just used a little closer. Okay. So here's your loop, okay? I can put my thumb and finger through it, reach down, and fold that part over. So I've got those two loops formed with the same piece, fold them together, and I've made what's called a lark's head. Okay? A lark's head is not necessarily a knot because it's not a stopper at the end of the line, and it's not necessarily a bend or a bind. Uh, the lark's head is just the lark's head. It's more of a formation in the rope. With the lark's head, I can put that around something like my finger, or a carabiner uh, or anything, and now I've formed a cow hitch, okay? Or because it's made with a loop, a girth hitch, right? You can, uh, there's lots of varieties on that. So anytime you can take a bite on a rope and I can thread that under my belt, the bale on my canteen, and I can pull the rest of the rope through, 
And then I've attached my loop to my carab to my canteen, and I've got a lanyard. I can take a loop and attach it to my knife the same way. Push a bite through, pull the rest of the cordage through that bite, tighten it up, and I've attached it to my the uh, the object. Another thing you can do is push the bite through, and then wrap it around the object and you've had the same same effect same outcome so you've wrapped that loop around there I can make the lark's head in my loop and then take something like a carabiner or a toggle and pass that through same effect this is a great knot to know uh, the lark's head technically not a knot the lark's head and a loop and you can come up with almost no end of uses. I can make a lark's head and go around this little stick I found here in the park and now I've made a toggle and I can use that toggle for all sorts of things. I could pass, let me take this other one off, I could pass this toggle just push the line through the bale on my canteen and because that toggle's attached to the rope now I've got something to hang my canteen from. I could take this toggle, the other end, back to my belt, make a secondary cow hitch around my belt. Now I've got this toggle hanging from my belt for, I don't know, what we could use it for. We could slip that toggle, it's a little big for this, so I can't fit that through the bale of my canteen, which is what I was going to demonstrate. What I can do though, is push the line through the bale and then the toggle through that bend in the line and now I've attached my canteen to myself. Okay, when I want a drink, just unscrew that, take a drink. The lid's attached to me, it never goes on the ground so I don't lose it. And I've done that with the toggle that we just found. Okay. Um, what are some other things that you can do with a loop and a lark's head, girth hitch, cow hitch, uh, the ways to attach it. So I'll leave those in the comments below. What are some ways that you can come up with to use a small loop of paracord that you carry in your pocket every day? Three feet's a good uh, length to make these loops out of because you can fold it down and get a smaller loop. You can simply loop that around your neck. Uh, it's big enough, but not uh, big enough to go over your head, but not so long that it would get caught on things if it's tucked away. Okay. Another thing you can do, it just keeps scurrying to me. Uh, is the knot where they're joined together. I just did a fisherman's bend there, two, uh, two double overhands drawn together. I have videos on that. At the other end, the bite, I can make my, uh, my lark's head. So I've got that right around my thumb. And instead, I slip the knot through there and tighten up on the rope. And now I've made what's commonly referred to as a soft shackle that a way you can lock that down around something, right? So I made the girth hitch around my belt earlier, but I could tuck that, that rope up behind my belt, take both ends, make a small lark's head in this end of the rope, tuck the knot through, or maybe even a toggle, tighten that down, and now I've got a little soft shackle, almost like a soft carabiner on my belt. Right. There's no end of uses for those either in that form. So leave some comments below. We'll get an interactive video going. What are some different ways that you've found to use these little gutted three foot piece of paracord tied into a loop? Uh, comment, like, share, subscribe. And I think that's it. So, all right.